Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O Jesus Christ, my Lord, with what great love you passed over the painful road which led you to death. And I, how often have I abandoned you? But now I love you with my whole soul. And because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for having offended you. My Jesus, pardon me and permit me to accompany you in this journey. You are going to die for love of me, and it is my wish also, my dearest Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, in your love I wish to live, in your love I wish to die. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord stands in silence, condemned to death. False witnesses have accused him. Judges in bad faith have condemned him. A friend has betrayed him. Still he remains silent. Harshly dealt with, he bore it humbly, never opening his mouth, like a lamb before its shearer, never opening its mouth. Lord, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist me in my journey towards eternity. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Look, says Pilate, what you have done to this man. But another voice seems to be saying... Look what you have done in this man to your God. The second station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus begins his sorrowful journey Burdened with the world's sin, still he thinks of each one of us. Embracing the cross, he does not complain of his fate. But as scripture says, for my part I made no resistance. I offered my back to those who struck me. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. My loving Jesus, by the merits of carrying your cross, give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. His final testimony begins, God so loved the world so much, he gave his only son. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus falls at the feet of his tormentors, yet his longing for our salvation drives him on. 
He did not need the blows of the soldiery to flog him to Calvary. The love of his sacred heart drove him on. The Holy Spirit drove him on. The longing of the Eternal Father to win us to heaven drove him on. Lord, how heavily my sins must weigh upon your sacred heart. By the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. To stagger and fall under the weight of the cross is what he wills. He wills it all, to the end. He is true to his undertaking. Not my will, but yours be done. The fourth station, Jesus is met by his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus beholds the loving face of Mary amidst the mockeries around him. But now he is hardly recognisable, so disfigured did he look. Without beauty, without majesty she saw him. A thing despised and rejected by men, and the Lord has laid upon him the sins of us all. My Jesus, by the sorrow you experience in this meeting, grant me the grace of a devoted love for your Holy Mother. And do you, my Queen, who were overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me a continual and tender remembrance of the passion of your Son. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. His cross becomes her cross. His humiliation, her humiliation. The public scorn is on her shoulders. This is the way of the world. The fifth station, the cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A stranger is forced to carry the cross of Jesus. And yet, in doing so, faith came to Simon and his family. For scripture names him, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, who became well known to Christ's followers. Lord Jesus, you invite all your people to take part with you in carrying the cross and, like Simon of Cyrene, bring blessings upon themselves and upon others. I will try more willingly to unite my crosses and trials to your sacred passion Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. I was naked, I was thirsty, I was in prison. I have carried the cross. Did you carry it with me? Really? Right to the end. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This was indeed a gracious reward for Veronica's compassion. Yet, in this meeting, there is a lesson for us all. For whenever, out of love, we minister to the needy, we receive an increase of grace, 
and the image and likeness of Christ grows in our souls. Lord, my soul was once beautiful when I received your grace in baptism, but I have so often disfigured it by my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by your passion, O Jesus. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. The Saviour leaves his imprint on every single act of charity, as on Veronica's handkerchief. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Again, Jesus falls beneath the weight of the cross. Yet again, he staggers to his feet and continues along the road to Calvary. Lord, how many times have you pardoned me? And how many times have I fallen again? and begun again to offend you. By the merits of this second fall, give me the help necessary to persevere in your grace until death. Grant that in all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Remorse for sin gnaws at the human conscience. Remorse for the second fall. The eighth station, the women of Jerusalem mourn for our Lord. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. These courageous women mourned for him as he passed by, and, supporting him in their grief, they openly confessed their faith in his name, fearless of what might happen to them. Lord Jesus, by the example of this meeting, let me always confess my faith in you as my Lord and my God. Careless of any decision, of any danger or derision it may bring me. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Lord, let me know how to live and walk in the truth. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was but a few steps from Calvary. Yet before he gained the very spot where he was to be crucified, Again he fell to the ground. As scripture says of our holy Redeemer, My throat is dried up as parched clay, and in the dust of death you have laid me. My loving Jesus, by the merits of this third fall, never allow me to remain discouraged beneath the weight and repetition of my sins. Grant me confidence in your forgiveness and a firm purpose of amendment. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Every station along this way is a milestone of obedience and self-deprivation, obedient even to death on a cross. 
the tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord stands exposed to the gaze of the jeering crowd. He is made to look a fool for my sake. He who, as God's creating word, rightly possesses all things, now possesses nothing. My most innocent Jesus, by the merits of the ridicule that you bore, grant me readiness to be considered a fool for your sake. Strip me of all sinful desires for worldly things, but above all, never allow me to be stripped of your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. This unclothed body takes to itself the immeasurable pain of humanity defiled and profaned. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Saviour is crucified, and in the company of two thieves. As scripture had foretold, he was taken for a sinner, while he was praying all the time for sinners. As they fastened him with nails, he prayed for us all. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Lord, by the merits of your prayer on Calvary, grant me real sorrow for all my sins. Not only because of the punishment they deserve, but still more because of the suffering they have caused you, who love me so much. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. The whole of this body, hands, feet, and every bone, is a priceless ransom. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by a holy cross you have redeemed the world. How completely dependent we are on that holy cross. For the grace of God's friendship, for forgiveness of sins, for hope of heaven hereafter. On Calvary, his life of sacrifice has reached its conclusion. It is finished. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. My dying Jesus, since you are so deserving of all my love, may your love henceforth be my first concern. By the merits of your cross, unite my heart more firmly to your holy will. I commit my life into your hands. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Here is God himself, in those arms outstretched along the transverse beam of the cross, lies the mystery of our redemption. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Mary at last has possession of her son. Now, when his enemies can do no more, they leave him to her in contempt. 
How deeply now she felt the force of Simeon's words, and your own soul a sword shall pierce. O mother of sorrows, for the love of your son, accept me as your servant and pray for me. And do you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, grant that I may love you always, for I wish but you and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. How many human hearts bleed for the heart of this mother, who has paid so dearly for this gift of redemption. 14th station, Jesus is placed in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is left alone to rest in peace. And yet he is not alone, for the Father is always with him. He came from the Father into the world, and now he has left the world and gone to the Father. My buried Jesus, grant that I too may find your peace at life's end, and by the merits of your own resurrection on the third day, make me rise in glory with you at the last day, to be always united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do me, with me what you will. For every human being there is a tomb. Nonetheless, all who look to the tomb of Jesus live in resurrection hope. For the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.